हाय हाय दीदी हाउ आर यू आई एम गुड आप कैसे हो मैं भी ठीक हूँ सो टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू दैट एग्जांपल दैट वी वर डूइंग इन द लास्ट क्लास द वन टू रिमूव डुप्लीकेट आइटम्स इन लिस्ट्स एंड आल्सो आई सर्चड अप अ बेट फॉर द सॉर्टेड मेथड इन टपल्स एक्चुअली इट डज सॉर्ट द सॉर्ट द टपल इट does not only tell that um if, if the tuple is sorted or not it does sort the tuple also okay okay yeah yeah so we were on this example over here that if we have a list like this list is equals to like apple banana cherry and uh, uh, and we have another apple in this So and we want to remove duplicate items. So either we can loop and remove duplicate items, or we can say x is equals to set this list. So this will remove the duplicate items, and then we can convert uh, the set back to a list through the list constructor. So this list is equals to list x. and uh, let me just remove this and uh, when we say print this list then the duplicate apple will be removed okay understood so yeah. this is another way to remove uh, duplicate items from the list yeah and this works for a tuple also okay yes yes yeah so we use the remove method uh, to remove a specific item from the set we can also use the discard item to remove a specific item now the difference is that if the remove method does not find whatever we pass in here so for example we try to remove banana but it actually does not find banana in the set then it will raise an error so it will throw an error uh, to us and uh, it will like uh, stop the program from executing so it's saying that okay. it can't find orange and it cannot remove orange and it has raised an error yeah. but the discard method won't raise an error so if we say orange over here this won't raise an error it will let our program uh, execution continue so it has not raised an error if it did not find it just does not do anything okay understood so we can also use the pop method to remove an item but as that removes the last item it's uh, like we are not sure which item it will actually remove because the last item can be anything cherry banana or apple so any of the three items yeah. can be removed so okay if we say x equals to this set dot pop we can actually save the value uh, which it removed so it returns a value and it also removes the value so it removes yeah so it has removed okay. one value from the set and it has also returned the removed value so in this case it has removed banana so it returned banana that we are saving in x and it is then printing we are then printing this set to uh, show the remaining set so pop can also yeah, be yeah understood yeah Next. So basically, if we have uh, done like uh, remove some item with pop, and then we re keep like refreshing the uh, program, then it can remove different items. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. So it can remove random items. So in that case, it removed banana. Let's just run this a few times. So now it removed cherry. Yeah, cherry. Yeah. Okay, understood. And it removed apple also. So. Yeah. Next is the clear method. It basically empties the set, so it removes all the items. And when we print this set, it is giving set because it's not giving us these uh, curly braces because they also represent a dictionary. So they may represent yeah. a empty dictionary if it gives curly braces. That's why it is showing an empty set like this. Okay, understood. and then the delete keyword completely deletes it so if you try to print this set it will raise an error because it won't find this set anywhere yeah same like list yeah 
now we are on looping on set so we can basically use the for loop on it so we say for x in this set and uh, print x so it will basically like print the values uh, also yeah. we, we can't use that range way to like use the uh, get the length and then range so we can't say range because it does not have index yeah so it does not have index so we can't use the while loop also in this Okay. Next we have joining of sets. So we use the union method to join two sets. So if we say set one dot union set two, so it won't change set one or set two. It will just return a new set containing A B C one two three, and there is no specific order as sets are unordered. So if you say set one dot yeah. union set two. Or set two dot union set one, you will get the same result, the same set because there is no order. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And uh, then what we say we can use this pipe operator instead of the union method, and we'll get the same result. So this is something interesting that we can also use this pipe operator to join basically two sets, and it will return a new set. Okay. This standing line is known as pipe operator. Yeah, I mean most people call it pipe operator, but there must be some specific name to it because pipe is very casual. Okay. So now we have how to join multiple sets. So we can use the union method. Also, we can use the pipe operator to join multiple sets. So yeah, both will give the same result. Yeah, both will give the same result. And uh, there is no difference over here, or else it would have told us. And uh, we can join a set and a tuple also. So we can use the union method to join a set and a tuple, but the pipe operator does not allow that. So the to okay. use the pipe operator in this case, we have to say x pipe set y. So that will work. Okay. So it because it works only between two sets. Two sets, yeah, understood. Okay. Next we have the update method. So the only difference uh, it has, uh, like with union or the pipe uh, pipe operator, is that uh, it actually changes the set that we are calling the update method on. So if we are saying set one dot update set two, so it will add all the items of set two in set one. So when we print set one, it will actually be the updated set. Okay. Yeah. So the major difference is that union returns a new set, whereas update changes the already existing set. Already. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So next we have intersection. So intersection, what this does is that, for example, if two sets have duplicate values. Then it will only keep the duplicate values in the new set. So over here in these two sets, apple is duplicate. So when we say set one dot intersection set two, it will only return the set. It will return the set with the duplicate duplicate values only. So apple and apple okay. is common in both the sets. So that's why it is re returning a set with apple only. Yeah, just like we do it in maths also. Yeah. In Venn diagrams. Yeah, yeah, I mean I will yeah, learn them in eleventh, but I have a faint idea of them. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we can also use the and operator to do the same thing. Okay. So we are getting apple. So now there is a note over there. The and operator only allows you to join sets with sets and not with other data types. So like. Uh, the intersection operator can allow you to join uh, the two sets. Uh, like, like for example, if this was a tuple, then the intersection method would have still worked. But yeah. But if we were using and the, the method would not yeah the and operator won't work uh, in this case. So it's same for both. Uh, uh, for both the 
pipe operator or we say it's also known as the or operator sometimes so the pipe operator and the and operator both like uh, work similar and they work on sets yeah they work on set only next yeah. we have intersection update so basically uh, the intersection method returned a new set intersection update like changes the original set so basically we will now have the common value apple in set 1 and set 1 would be changed to like a set containing the value apple okay yeah so next the values true and one are considered the same value the same goes for false and zero that we read earlier also so over here yeah over here when we try to use intersection we are getting false true and apple because over here zero and false is considered the same value so that's intersection one and true same so that's also intersection and uh, apple apple and uh, apple that's apple. also intersection yeah. now i just wanted to try something out and uh, like see if that works uh, yeah so basically basically what i was trying was when passing set 1 over here instead of set 2 and saying set 2 dot intersection then what would happen so in this case it has brought the values 0 and 1 instead of true and false true so and false yeah yeah so okay. whatever we put in intersection then for the case of true and false and 0 and 1 it will bring the value that is there the in the value is of set 1 yeah and if we put set 2 it would have brought the value of set 2 yeah false and true yeah next there is a difference method so it will return a new set that will only contain the contain the only the items from the first set that are not present in the set the second set so basically it's the like like opposite of intersection so it will only contain the values that are there in the first set but not in the second set so banana and cherry in the are in the first set uh, but not in the second set so that's why when we say set 1 dot difference set 2 so we will get a uh, banana and cherry now if we say set 2 dot difference set 1 then we'll get google and microsoft because these values are not there in set 1 okay so basically it is the opposite of intersection yeah yeah understood and we can also use the minus operator and the minus operator will only work on sets and not any other data type and next we have difference update where like difference basically returns a new set and difference update it changes the already existing set so in set 1 we will be left with banana and cherry uh so is this clear the difference yes yes it's clear okay so next we have the symmetric difference so this will only keep the values that are not there in both the sets so it will basically give us google microsoft banana and cherry because these values are not present in both the sets only apple is present in both the sets so actually symmetric difference is the complete opposite of intersection because intersection would have kept okay. apple and symmetric difference is the complete opposite that keeps banana cherry google microsoft yeah difference would have just kept google and microsoft right uh, so if we would have said difference over here it would have kept banana and cherry because we are saying set 1 dot difference acha yes yes sorry yeah, yeah. set 1 mm-hmm. but if over here we had uh, set 2 then it set would have set 2 then yeah google, google and, and microsoft, microsoft. yes yeah. so next we can use this caret operator also to do the same thing as uh, symmetric difference but uh, like we read the operators will only work with sets and the methods will work with other collection types also and then we have symmetric difference update that basically updates set 1 inst- or set 2 instead of like uh, returning a new set 
so when we print set one after calling symmetric difference update we'll get banana cherry google and microsoft okay yeah so uh, yeah. are the, all the like set methods like uh, like fine and uh, are you clear with all the set methods yeah i've understood all of them but like uh, sets was new like i had done strings list tuple and dictionary before sets i had not done so i, I have written all of them down i'll just go through them once again and practice them on my uh, laptop and then i'll be thorough nicely yeah that's great because in uh, when we are learning like languages you mostly don't remember all these methods so you always have to yeah, refer to exactly. the notes that you created so that like that's good practice to create notes yeah i keep writing like whatever is new for me i keep writing it in between like while you are explaining oh that's that's nice so now now uh, as you m- must have remembered that we have like for every method we have its update method also so we say uh, like intersection update and then we have difference yeah. update so basically their operators is like the assignment operator so for example intersections up ab- intersection updates operator is and equals and uh, difference updates okay. operator is minus equals so if difference operator was minus sorry i clicked that by mistake difference functions operator was minus difference updates functions m- m- operator is minus equals similarly intersection was and so intersection update is and equals and equals yeah. yeah so there are some other methods also so we have done update union is symmetric difference we have done remove pop and now we there is uh, like is superset is subset so what it checks is like let's just let's just open an like an editor and uh, let's say let's go over here and say set1 dot is super let me just refer to the method once is superset yeah is superset of set2 so this will return a value true or false like whether if like superset means basically if this set contained 1 2 3 meaning yeah it contains all the values at least all the values of set 2 and then it can That's have cool. other va- values also so now yes yes in this case set 1 is the super set of set 2 but set 2 is not super set of set 1 super set of set 1 yeah, yeah. that will be false yeah so to set 2 but will be a subset because its values yeah. are contain like are there in set 1 so set 2 is when we yeah, check set set 2 is subset set 1 so it it gives us true because it is actually a subset of set 1 and yeah and and then we have like disjoint uh, and basically it tells whether two sets have an intersection or not so it also returns a true or false value so it's is disjoint so we can try that also uh maybe if we go over to that link yeah so here there is an example where we have x equals to apple banana cherry and y equals to google microsoft facebook and then we are seeing x dot is this uh, is this joint y and we are getting true showing that there is an intersection between the two sets okay so it okay. basically says that if it gives true if none of the items are present in both sets so if there are no common items then it will return true otherwise it would return false so basically disjoint set is a set in which like in two sets nothing is common yeah it it will basically return true when nothing is common and return false when false when something is yeah. common yeah okay so next we will so, move on to dictionaries so they are also shown with the curly braces and there are key value pairs in a dictionary 
so like brand ford model mustang and year 1964 for example so this is a dictionary and uh, yeah. all the keys should be enclosed with uh, quotes so all the keys should be represented in a form of string so that's uh, that's one thing to note down when working working with dictionaries so they are used to store key value pairs so you access them like if if you say this dict brand so it will give you ford and if you try to access model it will give you mustang and then when you access year it will give you 1964 so it's yeah it's a collection which is ordered changeable and it does not allow duplicates yeah okay so they are written uh, written with curly brackets that we have already seen and uh, basically we have also seen how, this is how we can access a value in the dictionary so we give square brackets and instead of an index that like we give in a list or a tuple we give the key whose value we want to access mm-hmm. so we'll get ford and what if we like give the uh, pair like if we give uh instead of brand we give ford uh it will if we give like ford over here then basically it will try to search for the key ford and it won't be able to find okay. it so it does not find the key ford so that's why it, it gives us an error okay okay so basically for accessing the value we use it like we use the keys yeah we always have to use the keys Okay, understood. Yeah. So the basically uh, in Python three point six and earlier the dictionaries were on unordered, but in three point seven the dictionaries are ordered. Okay. So their order would not change, and they are changeable. So you can change the value. So for example, I can say over here this dict brand. uh equals like toyota so when we print this dict brand so we will we'll basically get toyota so the value is changeable in a dictionary so yeah understood we, we changed it to toyota so duplicate values are not allowed so basically duplicate values over here means is that the values can be allowed but the duplicate keys are not allowed so yeah yeah if you add a uh, two like duplicate key value pairs then the latter one would be considered and this one would be ignored so as you can see when we print okay. this dictionary you'll get year 2020 that was the latter one yeah so the former one will be ignored yeah okay and then we can use the length method the len function to find the length of the dictionary and uh, th- there can be like any data type values in a dictionary like string boolean n- integer list tuple any type when we find one out yeah when we uh, use the len function so it will count like one a key and value pair to be one right yeah yeah it will count one key value pair to be one and if we have duplicates then also a duplicate would be counted as one only okay okay understood yeah so uh, when we look at the type of the dictionary we'll get a class dict being returned like showing that it is a dictionary a dictionary yeah and then there is the dict constructor which which basically takes named arguments so named arguments basically says like uh, like uh, there are something known as kw args uh, like in uh, keyword arguments basically in functions so when we define a function there are keyword arguments and basically they uh, like how should i show you like if we have a function a uh, new func so there is something like kw args so what this does is when 
इट गेट्स द वैल्यूज इन दिस फॉर्म लाइक नेम जॉन एज थर्टी सिक्स कंट्री नॉवे देन वॉट इट विल डू टू लाइक एक्सेप्ट दीज वैल्यूज इट विल क्रिएट अ डिक्शनरी इन साइड सो इट विल से लाइक एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू नेम जॉन ओके आई हैव टू गिव कोर्ट्स ओवर हेयर नेम जॉन एंड बेसिकली सो ऑन सो इन अ डिक कंस्ट्रक्टर वी पास पास द आर्ग्यूमेंट्स लाइक दिस सो दीज आर लाइक दीज आर नेम्ड आर्ग्यूमेंट्स विच आर एक्सेप्टेड इन द फंक्शन लाइक दिस एज लाइक की वर्ड आर्ग्यूमेंट्स सो आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू गिव यू अ बैकग्राउंड लाइक हाउ आर वी पासिंग दिस वैल्यूज लाइक दिस सो बेसिकली आर दे आर एक्सेप्टेड इन द बैकग्राउंड लाइक दिस एंड देन अ डिक्शनरी ऑफ दैम इज क्रिएटेड सो बेसिकली वी गिव दीज नेम्ड आर्ग्यूमेंट्स टू द डिक कंस्ट्रक्टर एंड इट रिटर्न अ डिक्शनरी फॉर अस yeah okay yeah and uh, then it's repeating this part telling us about different collection and just in case uh, if like if the list is not in form like uh, in this in this form like it is name is equal to john if it's not in this form for example it's like apple banana cherry so yeah then it won't be converted to dictionary uh, yeah it won't be converted to dictionary because it needs keyword arguments so let's just yeah yeah okay let's just look at its behavior also most probably it will give an error yeah it yeah it's giving an error because it was Understood. expecting keyword arguments yeah uh next we are on accessing items so we do that through square brackets and passing in the value of the key mm-hmm. that we want to access and then there is also yeah. the get method and you pass it the key and it will give you the value so it will give you the same yeah. result now for instance you don't know the keys also of a dictionary so you have a dictionary and you want to know its keys so basically what you do you call the keys method on the dictionary so when you call the keys method on the dictionary it gives you a a collection type of type dict keys so if i just print the type of x so it won't be a normal list it's actually of type dictionary keys okay so uh, like there are different different types so this is a collection of type dictionary keys and what this will contain it will contain all the keys of the dictionary yeah okay understood yeah so when we print x we will get all the keys of the dictionary uh, so so basically what happens is now if you if you like change the dictionary for example if i say this dict brand uh, or uh, or basically if you want to like uh let's go on to this example because i'll be able to explain better so for example you have this car dictionary which has brand model and year and you say car dot keys to get the keys of the uh of the like car dictionary and you print x so you'll get brand model and year that's expected next you add an item car color so basically to add an item you basically use the same syntax that you use for like accessing an, uh, another accessing. item and you just say yeah. equals to white and it's creating another key value pair with color white and now when we print x note we have not changed the keys basically we have changed the dictionary and added a new key value pair but we have not changed the value of x still it will be updated so it's basically like okay it's not it's not a value that's being saved in a car dot keys through like in x it's not a value that is being saved it's a reference to the keys of the dictionary yeah okay understood yeah so it uh, the value of the uh, like when we say car dot keys 
the value dynamically changes yes okay and uh, same is with the uh, this dict dot values the dot values method will bring these values so it will bring ford mustang and 1964 So it brings Ford Mustang in 1964, and this is also a reference to the values of the dictionary. For example, I say this dict um year is equals to 1988, and when we print X, you'll see the 1964 will be updated to 1988. Yeah. Okay. so same example is over here and uh, when we add a new item then also the values will be updated so when we added a new item yeah. with red so the values is still updated next there is this item method so it will return each item of a dictionary in the form of tuples so basically it it is uh, giving us dict items uh, which uh, which contains several tuples showing the key value pairs so on the zeroth index there will be the keys and on the first index there will be the values so basically okay. there are three tuples inside and uh, brand will be the key ford is the value then model is the key mustang is the value and the year is the key 1964 is the value yeah yeah okay okay and uh, this is also a view Uh, or the reference to the key value pairs of the dictionary and when we add a new key value pair or change an existing key value pair so that is reflected in the variable x so when we change the year to 2020 uh, that is also reflected and uh, when we have added a new property that is also reflected yeah understood now uh, to check if a certain key exists we'll say uh, we'll use the in keyword so if model in this dict and uh, like that is true the model key exists so this will return yes model is one of the keys of this dict dictionary so this will give us a true value now if i say if ford in this dict so this will say false because it will search in the keys not in the values So, so it should not give us any output. Yeah, it's not giving us any output because this statement is not true. This is a false statement. So Ford in this yeah. dict is false. So it comes. But it, like if we do if Ford in this dict dot values, yeah. then it will. Yeah, that true. will work. If we say dot values, then it will print uh, go in and print this statement. Yeah. understood okay um next we are on changing the item so we can basically use the square bra uh, like square brackets method and uh, say year equals to 2018 and this will change the item and uh, next we can update the dictionary also by using the update method and uh, we will have to pass it another dictionary and basically it will update the dictionary So it will say year twenty twenty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, through the update method, I think we can add new items also. So if we say uh, quotes color white, so this will most probably add the new item also. Color white, yeah. So it has added the yeah. new item also. So you can through the update method, you at the same time you can basically add and change dictionary values, and uh, uh, through the square bracket bracket method you have to you can either change or you can add a value. So adding items is yeah. the same way as changing items in a dictionary. And the update method can also be used to add items in a dictionary. Yeah, yeah, understood. Yeah, and uh, then removing items, we'll see. We'll use the pop method and pass it the key, 
whose va uh, whose key value pair we want to remove so if we say this dig dot pop model so this will remove the key value pair model mustang and we will be left with brand ford and year 1964 and uh, if you say dot pop item it will basically remove the last item that is year in this case and so we will be left with brand and model now this method did not exist before when these uh, when the dictionary was unordered because the order was not specified for the pop item method yeah so basically it removed a random item instead so it right now what does pop item do uh, so right now the pop item removes the last item that is there in the dictionary okay. Yes, yes, last item. Okay. Yeah. So next, we can also use the delete keyword, like to delete the specific key value pair, so that it does. And uh, then if we can delete the whole dictionary also, so we can say delete this dict, so it will delete the whole dictionary, and any reference to that dictionary. And basically, when we print this dict, so we'll get an error. okay i uh, understood but the clear method what it does it keeps the dictionary but it removes all so its it items the np dictionary yeah yeah now this is giving us curly braces because curly braces is you curly braces is used to show an empty dictionary when we cleared a set it gave us the set constructor method okay. and not the curly braces yeah. because it could be confu confused uh, it could be confused with a dictionary Yeah, understood. Now we can loop through dictionaries also. So we can use the for loop to loop through dictionaries. So for x in this dictionary, print x. So this will print all the keys of the dictionary. So we can okay. say for x in this dig dot values. So this will print all the values of the dictionary. Values. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, by default, it always prints keys. But if we want to get something else, then we can use item as values. Yeah, yeah. We can uh, we can also say like for x in this dictionary to basically get the keys and then uh, like pass the keys to this dic dictionary. So that will also bring the values for us. Yeah, understood. And uh, we already saw the dot values method. The dot keys method is not required because by default yeah, also it. Yeah, yeah, it takes the keys. Mm. And now over Understood. here, when working with the dot items method, we say this dig dot items, and we say x comma y because like there are two uh two values, so there's a tuple coming. So x comma y will take uh, the first value in x and the second value in y of the tuple. Yeah. Yeah. Understood. So if we said uh for x in this dig dot items, so it will print. individual tuples so it would print brand ford um model mustang and year 1964 okay understood yeah. now we are on copying dictionaries so this is also very small so we can complete that so now we can't do dict2 equals to dict1 uh, dict1 because basically it will create a reference to the dictionary 1 and basically it will be another name for that same dictionary yeah so, like it was in the case of lists in and course. other collections you cannot yeah. basically copy through the equals uh, operator you will have to use the dot copy method that copies it or you can use the di uh, dictionary constructor method yeah understood basically just like lists and yeah. tuples yeah so let's continue in the next class as only like less than 1 minute is left yes yes okay okay thank you thank bye you. bye 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 bye